Hello, Aqua here again. Welcome to episode 13 of my Feed the Beast Ultimate Beginner's Guide. Now, I'm going to do a little bit, things a little bit different this episode. The last episode, I started setting up this charcoal boiler, steam boiler to run on charcoal. It turns out that uh, I'm getting some charcoal. It's going to take a lot though. And I'm still only running off this single engine in here. So I've, I've put this down to 1MJ a tick, which is taking out what the same as what it's putting in just to see how quick this would go. It's gradually taking the power out of there, but um, I don't think this is going to keep up with the production for that. Once this is producing, we'll be able to produce enough power to keep the charcoal, but it might need more than one powered furnace. So overall, in hindsight, looking at this, it's not the easiest way of getting power. Now, I want to make this easier for you because you can, you're can best off doing the easy stuff first. That said, I'm going to do an easy power source, but I'm going to do a semi-complicated build but what this will do it will give you a real lot of power so let me know afterwards what you think if i've done this episode right or wrong right another little thing i want to do is i made this thing it's a battery box we've been using the blue electric solar power now whenever this is i'm just making some stone there look whenever this uses a power it's got in it it'll start to drain but i'm not using this all the time so really i should be creating a bit of a a bit of a pool to work from so I made this guy and it's pretty straightforward I'm just going to run through the recipe real quick let's have a look but the battery box is blue alloy ingot which you've seen how I make them that's silver and nickel in the blue alloy furnace over there in that guy um, some iron a piece of wood and then four of these BT batteries they're real simple there's nickel with a piece of tin sandwich by some copper so four of them We'll get you a BT battery box, electricity battery box. So let's pop that out and then put that in there. I should have done this when I made these. It's um, in hindsight, I forgot to do that. I should probably make another one to put behind that one as well, just so it's got a good pull of energy to pull from. And now, when this isn't working, so I'll set them out for now. Just uh, stick them up there. When this isn't working, that's going to fill up. So we've got a good amount of work it can do before it'll run out once uh, when we are using it. So I, I should have done that before. In fact, let's very quickly, um, for it's well, 24 of them we need. And then eight of them, four of them, uh, three of them. One of them, <laughs> uh, four more of them, and a piece of wood. One piece of wood, there we go. Show you how quickly we can make one of these. So first of all, silver and four nickelite into there. While we're doing that, I'll spread these out. And tin goes there. Like I said, I'll blow alloy ingot. Uh, I'll spread them out, even them out with the B button of the pocket crafting tool. Gets us four batteries. They go like that. That goes there. Three iron. There, there, there. Oak wood. Battery box. Simple as that. And now, break that one. Break that marble block. Stick another one there. And because blue electric machines share power, they can run the power through these. So that. Now, well, this, when these aren't working, we're going to get a nice amount of energy stored in there so that when we do want it to work, we can uh, it won't run out of power so quick. Right, that's that bit done. The next thing, this, you may know what this is going to be. This is going to be a lava tank. Now, there's different ways of making tanks. One of the easiest ways now is with Xyacraft. And all we need is some glass viewer. And we need some more of that, I believe. But let's start putting some of this in. So much more we need. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of that, okay. Um I've got should have some glass. This is useful stuff actually, I'll make I'll make a bit more. Now we're gonna make another couple of Zycraft things. We need a valve to get things out, of course. We need two valves to get some things in get things in and get things out. Um they come back with iron. Spread them out. Get some more glass viewers. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide one valve inside here. 
and we're going to have a liquid tesseract in there. So, uh, that's, that's all right, like that. Um, so, one valve's going to be in there, we're going to have one valve out here, and we're going to have a thing called a deter level detector that actually is going to want to be up there. So, I'll pull that one out. So, we'll have a valve here, level detector up there. And then we can close the rest of this off, but I'm not going to close it fully off because I need to get in. So there'll be glass there as well. And what we're going to have is a tank here. So first of all, we need a couple of liquid tesseracts. So that should be the first thing we'll make. So let's have a look how we make them again. Have we got them in here still? No, no. We've got item tesseracts. So let's change that to liquid. We need two of these guys. So there we go. So that unattuned tesseract again, which we'll see what we make them. So let's make two of them. So we need our hardened glass, which we've got some there of. And I believe it was tin. Eight tin. And two diamonds. Should get us the next two of them. There we go. Now, of course, we need eight ender pearls. Getting a little bit low. All right, and so can we reverse engineer? We can look. So each one of them gives us eight iron, which is two ender pearls. We need eight ender pearls, so two, four, six, eight. There we go, eight ender pearls. Easy as that. Using four gold. <laughs> I keep using it, and uh, I keep feeling cheap every time I use it. But it's there to be used, and if you don't like it, I say when playing, when I played Tech It before Feed the Beast came out, I used to, I used to disable equivalent exchange too. I liked it a lot, but it's just it was just way too powerful with a power flower. You could get it so the sunlight gave you a diamond every, every what twenty seconds I think, which is kind of crazy. But I have to pinch that. Because we need more power up here. I don't think that's gonna have enough power in it. A, well, it may have. Let's see. Let's see if it manages it. So you see at the minute we haven't we haven't got enough power to run everything. It, it comes a tipping point where you'll end up with more power than you need. But one of the struggles with this type of technical modded Minecraft is until you reach that tipping point, you're always struggling for power. As soon as you do reach it, you're kinda of laughing. And that's gonna need a bit more power in it. I think they're Check yesterday. Did it take sixteen hundred? So let's let's uh, get this guy back up here for now. I could always use that lava, that magmatic engine up there. And we're going to use that in the build. These things, by the way, left click puts things up or down by five. Right click, you can fan tune it and put things up and down by one, which is good to know. So, there look. so I'm actually just going to put this back to its default of fifty. Let's fill that back up. So we've got plenty of power in there. And um Well we have run out in there. Okay, let's fill that back up. So unfortunately uh, this is taking more power because it's processing them quicker than this can produce energy. So this energy cell is gonna run out if I keep making charcoal. So for now I'm gonna hit that other wrench, which might not make a difference because it wasn't connected, but let's have a look. That's we'll fill this back up because we'll need it at some point, even though it's ticking our hard end power there. Come on, hurry up. And that'll do. Screw it. Let's get that back on there. And uh Okay, hitting that with a wrench when it's not attached didn't do a thing, so we'll just we'll just stop that for now. So I'll stop our charcoal production for now. Let's we've, got more, we've still got charcoal in there, so that's still producing steadily, but it's not much. We've got our two unattuned tesseracts. Excellent. Stick them in there. So what do we need? It's four silver, four tin, two copper. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two copper. And then we need two of them pneumatic servos, which if you remember are two redstone, two glass each and two iron each. Two pneumatic servos, excellent. So now we've got the beginnings of a liquid transfer system. So one of these is going to go in there. 
out of the way. And now let's set up a channel for this. So it's going to be our first channel. So number one. Um, now, now, let me have a little think about where I actually want this. I don't want that there actually at all. What I want is, I'm really, I'm, I've got an issue with using, oops. I really don't like the look of cobblestone, so I use smooth stone everywhere, which means I just keep processing smooth stone just to put walls back together. Seems a bit of a waste, but... Okay, let's have a think about what I'm going to do with this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have a liquid tesseract, and then I'm going to have an energy, I'm going to have a... I'm going to have... Hmm, right, let's make the other bits first. We made our channel. Let's make our channel. A one, we'll call it lava. Tick that, tick that. So they can both use that lava. Okay. One of these will be coming to the nether. This one will be getting used here. What I want it to do is we're going to make a thing called a gate, an iron gate, which needs a thing called an assembly table. This is why it gets a little bit complicated, but trust me, you'll you'll want these things in the, eventually. So. Can make a simple thing to start with. What this we're going to do, we're going to have a thing in there that's a level detector. So when the level reaches it, it's going to put out a signal that is full. We're going to use that signal to disable this tesseract. So we're going to have this on the the low, so it runs when there's no signal. When it gets a signal, it'll turn it off. And then we're going to have a gate at the tesseract at the other end. And the gate will detect if this is if this one's turned off and stop our engine at the other end. So it sounds a bit complicated, but it's a nice little robust system and it's going to work quite nice. Uh, our level detector, we could do with it in the roof, actually. Um, that, does that complicate things? Possibly. It look a lot tardier in the roof, but I won't go for tardy. I'll go for functional. Yeah, I'll go for functional. If it's in the roof, the tank would actually be able to fill up. If I have it here, the tank will only ever get three quarters full. So I think I will put it up in the roof. So we can actually glass that up because we'll put the tesseract up there as well. And the valve. So let's have... Valve can go there. Tesseract can go there. Sorry. Uh, yeah, valve can go there. Liquid detector can go there. Right, let's make them things then. That's the next thing, I suppose. Actually, no, let's make the assembly table. Right. I apologize. This does sound complicated. I apologize. Assembly table. Quite straightforward. It's a diamond gear, diamond redstone, some obsidian, diamond gear, gold gear, iron gear, stone gear, wood gear. So let's make a gear. It's uh, quite convoluted, but. Oh, we've got enough diamonds, we can always make some more with the minium stone. So, wood gear, and then cobble gear, and one more bit of cobble. Then, iron gear, surround that by iron. Oops, ah, bad clicking. For gold, we'll need next, so iron and gold. So, this is quite expensive. And then finally, four diamonds. One, two, three, four. And we need another diamond for that, didn't we? So we'll keep one out there. So diamond, and then there was six obsidian in the mix. And what was the last thing we needed? A redstone. Makes sense. One redstone. Now, these guys can have a maximum of about 600 lasers on them. We're not, having, we're not going to go with 600 lasers, because that would be ridiculous. Um, we're going to need at, one least, at least one laser. So what we can do is, we can put that there, and just so we've got a chest next to stuff, let's put a chest there. Now, this can put things into that chest, because it's already set. So now if we, when we process anything, it'll just go automatically into here. This thing, when this makes things, they automatically get spat out into an adjacent chest, so they'll go into there as well. Okay, and the thing we want to make in there is a redstone chipset. Let me turn uh, in the eye off so you can see that. Redstone chipset, it's just one bit of redstone, makes a redstone chipset. And if I press U, I'll just turn any eye off, idiot. 
I press U, will that show me what we can make up with that? No. Okay. Let's do it this way then. Iron Gate, where are you? Iron Ore Gate. Or Target Gate. Where's my basic Iron Gate? Yeah, oh, it's just called gate, that's why. That's why I'm failing. Oh, there's a gate. So that takes one of them redstone chipsets. You put it back in there again, it'll become a gate. So, and that's the power it needs. So it's quite expensive, power-wise. To make this work, we don't actually attach any power to this. You see that there, it's got... It's not asking for anything because we're not actually trying to craft out. If we click that, now it's asking for 10,000 MJ. And um, we're getting no NJ because we need a laser on there. So the next thing to do is make the laser. Now the laser, I believe, is like so. We're just going to make one laser. Eventually, this can have 600, but the most I've ever used, I think, 30-odd. Eh, 25, maybe. It's usually enough. Let me just check I'm crafting this correctly. Laser. I'm kind of rushing because I want to fit all this in one episode. Okay, so it's two obsidian. One diamond, and I think we have one obsidian left yet, so we need some more wood. Let's get our magic medium stone out again. And craft that into obsidian. As you can see, the, the magic medium stone is really, really useful early on. A lot of this stuff... Oops, what am I doing? A lot of this stuff you can get easier ways of getting it later, but... Early game, this guy is so useful. Right, what we can do now is we can just plop that on there. What I'll do is I'll start using our energy out of here. It's going to use 10,000 of that. There's 100,000 in there, so we've got enough. And the blue line signifies it's running at full power, for what it is. It's going to be pretty slow because we're only using 4.2 MJ a tick. The more lasers increase the power of that. So let's get on with making that. We only need one of them, so. Very basic start, starting bit. We've got that done. Next thing we need is a valve or two. So these are Zycraft. Valve there, engineering blocks, iron bars and a bucket. It doesn't matter which engineering blocks we use. That's good. So let's take some of our Zycraft bricks. Let's um let's use red because I don't know much other use for red. So first of all we need to is cook them. We use them in our fairness, and you see we've got plenty of power in there now by adding that. And so, what do we need to make red engineering bricks? We need some stone bricks and some redstone. That gets us four. And we need four for this, and we're going to need eight in total, I think. So, we need some stone bricks. So, we need some small stone. Where's my small stone gone? And let's make. 20 of them. And there's some redstone in there, won't they? I think I need two lots of these. I think. I could be wrong. Okay, that's enough. And we'll leave the rest. Just like that for now. We'll process them at our leisure anytime. In fact, I probably could process them now because we never use them in that state. They always want to be made into the ingot version so I might as well just leave that in there seeing as it's using sunlight and nothing else so that gets the date of them we're going to need some iron bars which I don't think we've made any of yet iron bars are just six iron like so so four of them, that gives you 16 iron bars four of them and did I get a redstone out? nope, looks like I didn't and a redstone gets us nothing, what have I done wrong? <laughs> uh, oh, it's a bucket, not a redstone. Fool. I used a redstone already, didn't I? Get a bucket out of there. I've actually got some more buckets I looted. Uh, where did I put them? Yeah, I thought I had. I've got some more buckets. I'll use one of them ones. We've got four valves, so you get them as a set of four. We're going to want two in here. We're going to want one up there. And we're going to want one down here to get our stuff out. Yep, yeah, makes sense. And now we need another thing from Zycraft, and that's called a level detector. 
No, it's not. Uh, liquid detector, that's what it's called. That takes a valve, which we've got, which is good. Some engineering bricks, which we've got. Some redstone, which we've got. And a couple of quartz crystals. Excellent. Actual use for quartz crystals. So two of them. Two of them. One of our valves. And the four of the bricks we made. It says liquid detector. And that's going to go up here. Next to that. Um, there's an ice cream van outside my house back in a sec. I'm not offering ice cream, it's just noisy. Okay, I'm back. Uh, and the ice cream van van's gone. Ice cream van man is gone. Uh, he's a bit optimistic. It's bloody freezing out there. Uh, I don't think he'll get many customers this morning. Now, I'm making another one of these just because I'd finished that one. And I forgot to show it. So, um, I put it back in. And before I started filming again, it had already finished. But, so, I'm just making another one to show you. One of the things we need now is we need a path up to the top of there. Which we could have just done. We could have just done um, from the bottom, but I'm going to do it this way just to show you a bit better. So I've just dug around the top of there, to the top of that thing. And our receiving tesseract is going to go there. Now I need to double check with this. This may require some liquid ducts between the tesseract and the valve. If it does, we may have to move this up a couple. But I'm going to try it like that first. I'm going to put that to lava. This time we want to keep that on one because we want to turn it off when it gets a signal. So we're leaving that on enabled low so that when it's, it's disabled when it gets a high signal, which means that when a redstone signal's on it, it'll turn off. And this one we want to be receive. So that's done. Now we need the next thing we need is something to make this torch to that. And could do it with some wiring or something else, but what that'll do is whenever the liquid's touching it, it'll keep flicking it on and off. So what we want to do is we want to introduce a delay into there. So what I'm going to do is make a thing called a state cell which is another part of redstone logic and for that we need we actually need to make remember the silicon bull we made we need to make some more of that so we're going to need some sand and we're going to need some coal and it's eight coal and then it's going to go into our pull electric alloy furnace you know the silicon bull we use to make these solar panels and so i'm going to need my diamond dance all that We've got some silicon bowl. Chop that into silicone wafers. Now we want a thing called a red duct wafer. So that's I think we only need one. I'm gonna make four. Because these can be quite useful. For stuff like relays and stuff like that. So um that's not right, it needs four of them for each one, doesn't it? Of course it does, like everything else. Let's get one for now then. Um Come on, do it right. Uh, then for them for it's gonna be spare for now. We only need one. And if you remember when we made our timer, we use this kind of stuff. And it's a similar thing we're making now. It's it's a thing called a state cell. State cell. There it is. And this needs a little extra special bit called a silicon chip. And a silicon chip is one of these red dot wafers. Over three of them, stone wafers. Easy enough, like so. So that gets us three of them. So we've got enough to make three state cells. So we can put two back in there. And I've got a little bit of wire. And I've got nothing else. Okay, so I'm going to need... What do I need? What do I need? I need a cathode and a point S. That's two redstone torches. Yeah, keep some redstone with me there. Oops, I need a couple of sticks. Let's make a couple of more redstone torches. Should probably make a stack of these. If you remember, a redstone torch with a wafer underneath is a cathode. A wafer underneath and a piece of stone on top is a pointer. So that's them two bits. A cathode and a pointer. And we've got our silicon cell there. We need two wires, we've got them. We need one anode and three wafers. Three wafers and then we need to make another anode. An anode is three wafers with for redstone like so and you get three of them so we've got two spare of them they can go in there they can go back in there and this is everything we need for a state cell excellent one of my favorite logic gates is a state cell really useful and this goes up here and we want to face that 
not that way, sending my screwdriver. Turn that round. Let me just get rid of that block so you can see it a bit easier actually. So what happens here is when the state cell gets a redstone signal, which it'll get from the liquid detector, when the liquid detector is activated, it starts a timer and it puts a redstone signal out this way. So the timer will disable this tesseract for as long as the timer is set. So I'm going to want to turn it off for a while, let some lava go down. So I'm going to set it for 3 minutes, 180 seconds, like so. And now, in theory, we don't have to be back up here, but I'm going to leave it so I can get in there just uh, in case I need to adjust the timer. Or do any troubleshooting, like I say, we might have to raise this up a couple and connect that via liquid ducts. So I'm not sure on that yet. We can now. We should be finished with everything in there, so we can put our last bits of glass in there. And now all you need to do to make this a tank, as a Zycraft tank, is it's an enclosed, it's an enclosed space. It's got a valve. The valves can't be in the edge, edge walls. It's got a valve in the right place and stuff. So you right click on the valve, and bam, that's now a tank. So if you right click anywhere, if you're looking at it, it shows you this graphic. If you're not looking at it, it doesn't show it. So as soon as you look at that thing, you're close enough. You get this graphic on it to indicate it's a multi-block structure. If you click anywhere on this, it's a multi-tank. It holds 1,024 milli buckets. So that's uh, sorry, 1 million 24,000 milli buckets. So 1,024 buckets worth of stuff. So we've got our tank. All we need to do now is go to the Never and uh, sort the bit out there. Right. Another thing we needed, which I've made, is I'm going to just put this back, keep tidying as I go, otherwise my bag will get a mess and things will be a bit harder to follow. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Screwdriver can go back in the bag. Uh, cobble can go up there. Actually, I'm going to need some cobble, so I'll take that with me. I uh, probably might need a bit, so I'll take a few stacks of cobble. Mm -mm -mm. Right. I right, we'll have to make one more thing as well. I made this thing here called a cobblestone structure pipe. That's quite simple. It's just a cobblestone transport pipe, which is two cobble. I have a side of a bit of glass, gets you eight of them, if you remember. And a bit of gravel gets you this thing called a cobblestone structure pipe. And you can place that and it'll attach to anything. So attach to that there, it'll attach to pretty much anything. And you combine it with. So I've already made a gate, but I'm just going to make another one just to show you. you put that back in there, click on that, and it'll make it into a gate. So we've got our gate. What you can do with the cobblestone structure pipe is that you can put a gate onto there, like so, and now we can set conditions on this. So, what this is doing, it's examining any inventory that it's attached to. So, this has got inventories. What this can do is it detects if there's if the inventory is full, or if it's got energy stored in it, or if it can store energy. It can't store energy because you can see that it's full. So, if you use it on stuff like this, you could actually set it so that and if it's full energy, it puts out a pulse that would stop your redstone cell emitting if you wanted to. Um, loads of different uses. What we're going to use it for is to control this magmatic engine. Magmatic engines work really nice, but if you're pumping them and they've got nowhere to pump the stuff, then they jam up. So it'd mean, because we're setting this up in the nether, it'd mean every time I wanted to go back, any time I wanted to pump lava, I'd have to go there and hit it with my wrench. But I don't want to do that, so I want it to have an auto shut off, which is why I've made it a little bit more complicated. I'm making this so this will run itself. I keep doing that. Um, we're also going to need a pump, which I've not made yet, and um, a chunk loader because we're going to want the end. We're going to want the nether chunk loaded, the bit where the lava is at least. So let's get on with that. Um, if I remember right, it's two diamonds and a book. I've used all my diamonds again. They don't last long, do they? And a book. Put them back. Enchantment table. And then five gold around that. And an ender pearl. Gets us a chunk loader, which is what we needed. And now the only other thing we need is, let's get rid of that. Let's type in pump pup, no dogs in here, 
pump and it's uh, that guy we want I think let me just double check Ooh, advanced pump interesting pump there it is mining well and then and a, and a tank tanks really straightforward so let's just make the mining well I'll question mark that into there iron gears sorry iron gear iron ingots redstone and a pickaxe very simple one redstone oops not 57 one one redstone six and the four for the gear and some stone for the gear which we've got let's make that gear then and we want a pickaxe and we want two bits of wood for the pickaxe as well four for the gear four cobble one two three four iron and then oh, of course we need three more iron for the pickaxe as well getting low on iron i'm gonna have to go back to my hollow hill pretty soon Yeah, that can go in there. Yep. Yeah. That guy. There we go. Mining well. And then we combine that with the Billcraft tank, which is just eight bits of glass in a square. Like so. Tank. Combine them two together and gets us a pump. And now I think we've got pretty much everything we need. Pretty much. Um, we may have to connect right I'm gonna make here is hmm let's take that that should do us that should do us okay so now we're to the nether just in case it goes pear shaped I'm gonna put all this expensive stuff in my bag just in case I get knocked into the lava or anything because we are gonna be doing a bit of lava walking Um, I'll keep all that rest of rest of that stuff with me Stone can go in there. I'm taking the cobble to build a little safe house around the thing. I'm going to head down to this one here. I should put them in the. I should put them into the man in, into the writing table. Actually, rename them. You can rename them. And what we're going to do is, I wonder how deep that pool is. Does it look deep? Should we have a look around for a deeper one? Uh, well, we can always move it. So I might as well just use this one. There's no ghasts around me at the minute. It could cause me issues if they do appear. Um, that's a pretty big lava lake, isn't it? We've actually got another fortress that way as well. The fortress that we've been going into is over there, 163 metres that way. There's one here, so we should be able to get a blaze spawn out of there as well, actually, which is pretty cool. Right, the reason why I brought cobble is because ghasts can destroy netherrack, but not cobble. So what I'm going to do is nice and dangerous. I'm going to get onto there. Come on, let me on. What I'm going to do: if you hold Shift, you don't fall off the edge of stuff. So when you're making stuff like this, if you keep Shift held down, just walk backwards. You can build a bridge out to wherever you want to be. Gotta be careful, I don't go into that lava. It's coming down because that could be a bit of a tragedy if that happens. Now I'm going out into the middle of here so it's nice and deep. These lava pools are generally a bit deeper in the middle. And this is quite a decent sad lava pool, so it should be pretty deep here. If we had different armor we could check this, but and um, really doing something dangerous like this, I should have made some fire resist potions first just in case. But I haven't, so it's, it's done now. What we can do is build a little platform around oh, didn't want to do that. Around here, and that's it's a little bit safer. I put some walls round, keeping shift held all the time. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Yeah, I'll get rid of that as well. It's a bit minimalist. Really careful not to fall in, so I'm keeping shift held down all the time. And I'll probably get rid of this path back once I've done this. So, uh, shouldn't be needed. We can put a book in here so we can teleport straight into where you see. So I'll do for now. So normally if you're out in a really open space you could have gas attacking you but with, I think we're alright here. So what I'm gonna do is get our start getting our stuff out. We want our liquid tesseract of course that's what our pump's gonna pump into. So like so 
and then we want our pump, and we want our engine. Ah, screw it, we want everything. <laughs> Let's get everything. If we fall in the lava now, then at least it's an entertaining episode, if not a beautiful one. Put our pump there. Careful not to walk over the edge because I've got that step up thing. Um, right, so we want our engine. What the engine will do is it'll take lava from the pump as well. So as soon as the pump starts, we're going to need a bucket to start this off to kickstart it. But as soon as the pump starts, it should pump lava into both the tesseract and back into the engine. So the engine will keep going. And what we want is. Our structure pipe there. Our gate goes on that, and the condition we want on the gate is one that's related to the tesseract, and it's active output links. No, no output links equals redstone signal. So what that means is, whenever the redstone signal at the other end is triggered, it'll cut this link. I'm not, I've not actually linked it yet. No, I have. So we want that one disabled. And this one to send only. You see now because there's an active link, then that signal's off, so there's no redstone signal. This is set so that it's enabled with low, so that'll run as long as it's got lava in it. That'll start pumping lava. So let's actually get a bucket of lava and get that get that going. The pigman having a swim there. A bucket of lava, if I just click on that guy, that'll start that going. If you could see underneath here, if I made it out of glass for example, you'll be able to see that lava should be pumping. It should fill that up as well. If it doesn't, I might have to put some liquid some uh, liquid pipes around there. It should be sending lava. Not guaranteed I've done it right yet. Let's just put our chunk loader down. We'll have that set to three chunks so it'll cover all this lava area. And let's get our mistcraft things out. I want a linking book to the overworld and I want a book back to here. And I want a couple of stands. So I'm gonna have my spawning point here. So let's make a book. Thank you. And I want my way back to the overworld there. Let's go out and see if there's actually any lava coming through. There we go. Lava's filling up in there, nice and quick. So that's working. Now, all we need to do is wait for that to get full and uh, see if it actually works. I'll put that there. Actually, they're quite weird. They act like an inventory, so I don't know if I want that there because it could interfere with that. Uh, so let's put it there. And what I mentioned about renaming, if you put a book into this writing desk, you can rename it there, look, nether, so I'm going to put pump, uh, lava pump. Don't cost anything to rename them, so really I should rename all these so I know what they are. That one's near the lava, that one's a fortress, one's a hollow hill, and one's just, I think that's a hollow hill, that one in it, so I should rename, I'll rename them off camera. Lava pump there, so what should happen now is when this tank gets full, it fills up nice and quick. Thousand twenty-four. Okay. So what should have happened is signals on there. So you can see this is getting a signal. So that now it's putting out a signal. That should have turned that off. If we go back to the Nether, for here of course, it should put us back where we're meant to be. That's turned off. So it's put this signal on, which has turned the engine off. Excellent. All working. So that engine will only run when there's been when the lava level in the tank has been less than full for at least three minutes. Nice little enclosed system. Pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna cover it up so that if any gas do come they don't cause any problems. I'm gonna afford to lose a bit of cobblestones, it's nice and cheap. And something I'll do just for the fun of it. Um let's have a little roof on here, screw it. <laughs> um, so I noticed for the fun of it is 
I uh, get rid of the little path out from where we came. So we've got a little enclosed thing in here. Let's put a light on the wall just in case. And then let me out. Something you don't have to do it all, but I like to, I'll probably change a couple of these for windows at some point as well. Oh, we've got a ghast. Don't want a ghast killing me shit. Um, he's quite a long way away, isn't he? That's not going to hit him. Okay, well he stopped hitting me anyway. What I'll do, just to make it look a bit funny, you can see it's starting to pull lava already. You can see where the lava's changing its appearance. I'll just, uh, I'll get rid of the path for no apparent reason whatsoever. So now we've got a good lava source. It's automated. It should be... It should work all the time so that we never have to touch it. That magmatic engine won't overheat. Uh, I have to double check in a second that it is getting lava from the pump. It should be. But if it isn't, we can add a couple of waterproof pipes so that some of that lava circulates back into there. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. No, no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, my shit's going to lava. Bastard. Ah, bollocks. Um, let's see how much stuff we've lost. Oh, the friggin' other than I manage that. Uh, well, lost all the stuff that I've upgraded. Lost my ender pouch. Lost loads of good stuff. Bastard. Well, I'm going to call it an issue, uh, an episode, just a minute, I just want to check that that thing's getting lava. Ah, oh, what a knobhead, as if I fell in there. It's going so well. Just want to check that this guy's full of lava, it should be. No, it isn't, okay. One more thing to do then, is... I'm real, I'm real angry. Um, should we do it with liquid ducts? Let's do it with liquid ducts. For a liquid, we need a couple of bits of copper and some hardened glass. I lost my crafting table. I'm really, really angry that I fell in there. What a dick. Um, I've got a spare crafting table. I get stuff called liquid ducts. And see if I had made some fire resist potions, that would have been a lot simpler. There we go. Liquid up. So when the pump starts again, there's enough liquid, there's enough lava in there to fill that. When the pump starts again, some will go that way and fill that, and the rest will go that way. So, done. Power source. We can use this to have a power another magmatic engine onto this guy. Or we can use this to power some thermal generators. We'll get into that next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go cry, see what I've lost. So, luckily, most of my stuff was in the ender chest. So, I've not lost my portal gun and stuff, but uh, I've lost all them. I've lost, I've lost a bit of stuff. Lost a miscraft bag. I've uh, lost my omni wrench. And I've lost my bits of armor that I need to re replace. But as if you had the, one, the bits that was decent. The bits that had the jump assist and the run speed, they're gone. What a knob. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, any likes and stuff are appreciated. Thank you very much for subscribing, if you're new. I hope it was entertaining. I hope it was educational. And I hope you join me next time. Cheers. Bye.